Hello and welcome everyone. This is the sixth episode of Mouse Adventure Devlog. This week I kept working on the UI of the game and decided to put some more time into creating UI bits and pieces and some icons. It's been a great practice for me since I haven't worked on any graphics for a while. And on the UI side it helped the game look better than a prototype right now. For those who are new, Mouse Adventure is a maze crawler puzzle game based on procedurally generated mazes. It takes place in a cartoony world with a light-hearted storyline. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when a new devlog is out. I really appreciate your support. Last week I talked about the two weeks of break I had from development and how I motivated myself to get back to the project. And with getting back to it, I did various tasks around uh, completing the main game cycle, working on the exit gates of the mazes, and some refactoring in the game code and the test code. This week I decided to create some icons and UI pieces. So this would help me create buttons, windows and other visual indicators for the game. At first I thought of buying an asset pack for buttons and etc. But I really would not want the game to look exactly like some other game which uses the same UI assets. Also working on graphic design would be some change for me so I decided to give it a try. For painting or drawing comics I mostly choose to use Krita which is an open source software. However when it comes to vector design like tasks I'm an old school person. I use Adobe Fireworks CS6 even though this software is no more supported and there are some recent alternatives to it. I just feel very comfortable using this software and I always get to work with it. I decided to go for two different styles of icons for the game, so I could use them in various places. One style is larger colored and detailed icons and another one is white smaller flat icons which can be applied color on top of it inside Unity. So I could use the smaller icons in buttons and other various places. First thing I did was replacing the top bars icons in the game, which were settings, cog, key, coin, cheese and map icons. After that I also made a small update to the notification window with rounding their corners. Also to easily test the notifications I wrote some editor code for calling different message and notification types while playing the game. Last thing I did was adding a start window which will remind the user which area and the maze player is in. Which might have different views and may change, I don't really have any idea but what I see in most of the games they do such things so I decided to add this. Also I updated the last ending window with new icons and new windows. So here is how the UI look right now. While working on these. I try to get inspiration from lots of other assets and design out there that came up after a Google search. So I cannot really say that I ended up having lots of original designs but at least it's my own creation and I feel quite happy with that. So I wasn't so rusty with graphic design, that makes me feel happy. Not so good, not so bad but something quite alright. At the end I can say this week was a success. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel not to miss the next episode. Take care.